Hello friends, welcome back. I am Dr. Lisa Winfield, your organizer advisor, and I am here to help you enhance your happiness and transform your life. Wow, today we are going to continue creating our sanctuary space in our master bedroom. Now, we worked on the north wall using the compass rose strategy. We're focusing on one wall a day. Yesterday was the north wall, so today is going to be the east wall. Now, believe it or not, this is actually the closet in my cottage bedroom. Um, when you go from a big house in the suburbs to a little cottage in the country, which was my dream, um, and if you want to find out what my life is like, check me out at Ravenstoop Cottage on Facebook or just ravenstoop.com on the internet, and you can see the transformation of this little cottage that I purchased for $35,000. Gave me plenty of land for my dog. But anyway, when you move into a smaller, um, older home from a larger, newer home, there are some conveniences that are sacrificed, and one of them is closet space. Now, I have a room uh, in the home that is my clothes closet, but this closet space in the master bedroom, I put in this cabinet that I bought off a of marketplace for $50 and I painted it. And this is my vanity. It houses uh, a few treasures from my mom and then also it houses all of my daily beauty uh, routine baskets. So all my hair care, um, all of my hair care appliances, all of my daily beauty baskets are housed here. So this kind of gives me a central place to be able to focus on my physical wellness. Now, we're gonna clean the east wall. And in order to do that, we like to move everything away from the wall if you can. Don't do anything unsafe. This is too heavy for me to move. I'm not going to move it, but I can use my microfiber wand and clean behind it and on the top. These microfiber wands are great. They have a lot of surface area. They capture dust instead of spreading it around. Then you can pull this off, toss it into the washer, and you're gonna have a clean microfiber wand every time you need to use it. Now, once you have everything away from the wall, go ahead and use your wand and dust the entire surface of the wall. That's gonna remove a lot of dust and particulates that get circulating in our air. It's gonna make our air healthier and cleaner. Next, go ahead and wipe down your woodwork. Um, that's your baseboards and any woodwork that's on your east wall. Then, take care of the flooring. Whether you vacuum and use your crevice cleaner along the baseboards or mop or hand mop, whatever you need to do to clean the flooring before you re return some of the items. Next, if you have curtains on that wall or a window, you want to wash the curtains or um, fluff them in the dryer, follow your manufacturer's suggestions on how to clean the fabric, and clean the window uh, with your Listerine glass cleaner or Windex or whatever glass cleaner you use. Then move, er start to move everything back and clean as you go. So if you have lamps, clean the lampshades, check the cords, wipe down the furniture, clean any storage device and organize. Remember to keep in mind your visceral reaction to the items as you touch them. If it's something that you can let go of, that you feel like this is not something that's going to enhance my life, it's just clutter and it can go. Um, I'll show you the, the amount of purging that I've done in the, just one room. Next, clean any glass um, it like mirrors or pictures, picture frames and on that wall. Return the artwork, make sure you've cleaned that, wipe down the frames, wipe down the front, wipe down the back. And this is helping remove all of the dust that gets settled on these items and that then circulates as we move by. It kind of gets stimulated into the air. So now start to put everything back against the wall, but keep in mind that you have a clean slate. This is a great time to kind of freshen your look, or it's a great time to say, I'm only going to put half back. If you have a cluttered look, you may want to just reduce by half. Kind of put a few things back and see how you feel with the space. Now, I'm an items out person. I like to see my items. And so my I have a lot of visual distractions and sometimes that can be, uh, it can accumulate and become very overwhelming. So once a year, I just go to a clean slate where I just take everything down and then I see how I feel before I put anything back. So you may want to just kind of put your favorite things back 
and then put some in a reconsider bin where you can just hold on to them if you're not sure whether you want to keep them or purge them put them in reconsider bin revisit at the end of the month okay so today's that's our every nook and cranny cleaning and organization on the east wall in our sanctuary space master bedroom now our color for today for our rainbow wardrobe, our rainbow closet, is turquoise. Now, turquoise is a confidence builder. It uh, makes you feel calm, and it makes you feel, um, it, it does have a kind of a soothing, blue soothing relaxation effect, um, but not too much. Remember to, uh, to accessorize, use your accessories. I'm wearing my headband today because it's hair care day, which means right after, while this bit video is processing, I'm gonna be deep conditioning my hair. Now, you can deep condition your hair with a um, product that you, purchase over the counter. I make my own deep conditioning oil and I love this little container isn't that it's so it's a hand blown it's so delicate but this is my deep conditioning hair care oil and then what I do is I use a natural bristle brush to distribute it through my hair then you want to wash and clean the brush afterwards. This is also the day that we want to clean all of our hair brushes barrettes, hair, hair fasteners, um, but also we want to um, make sure that all of our hair care appliances are in good working order, clean and safe, that the cords are uh, not frayed or broken. So here's a cute little device that um, my dad gave me for Christmas, Dad and Michelle. This is a hair scalp stimulator. It's very relaxing. This is what my husband does when I'm really stressed. He puts this on my head. and um, But it stimulates your scalp, so it's going to help uh, grow some hair, and it's also going to help uh, keep your scalp really healthy, so that's going to help the health of your hair. Okay, so for our document organization today, um, it's our important document week, so this is going to be your home insurance policy. Now, check out the video on creating a home inventory to align with your home insurance so that you make sure that you have enough coverage. So that's going to go into our binder for our home safe. So that's going to be your home insurance, and make sure that you have contact information for your home insurance representative and company. Also, exercise 15 minutes. Take your vitamins if you take vitamins. Make sure that you are hydrating. So important to keep your momentum going through the day is hydration. Also, um, it is uh, hair care day. So while you're cleaning your east and organizing your east wall, go ahead and you can just go ahead and put your deep conditioner on while you're working. Okay, that is all of our goals for today. Seems like a lot, but it goes by very quickly. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Find time for stillness. Meditate. If you're doing yoga with Adrienne on YouTube, we're on day four, and that is really relaxing and calming. Uh, she has a 30-day program. I posted the link, so um, enjoy. Until the next time, love ya.